So first off, multi-layer insulation can be a bit of a mouthful, so we tend to shorten it to MLI. And it's the shiny stuff on the outside of spacecraft. So if you've ever seen a picture of a satellite or any kind of spacecraft, they tend to be covered in a, either a silver foil or a gold looking foil. The purpose of MLI is really the same as the purpose of the insulation that you have around your house. So housing insulation is designed to keep your house cool in summer and warm in winter. Uh, the key thing is, is that though we say cool in summer and warm in winter, it's actually the same temperature or around 20 degrees. It's the same for spacecraft. So we want our spacecraft to stay the, about the same temperature. We don't want it to get too hot or too cold. Obviously in space, there's no summer or winter. So we want to keep it cooler when it's uh, sitting in sunlight and warmer when it's in shade. That's where the similarities between house insulation and MLI really end. Uh, they don't really look the same. And the reason for that is that in space, obviously there's no air. So on earth, um, you, as a human being, are constantly losing heat to the air around you. And you also lose a little bit of heat through your feet down to the ground. In space, there isn't any air. So the only kind of method of heat transfer is something called radiation, which in this context essentially means light. Uh, so we're mostly interested in sunlight. So sunlight will warm the spacecraft up. And we have this on Earth as well. That's why if you're standing outside and it's sunny, uh, you're literally being warmed up by the sunlight and if you stand in the shade you'll feel cooler. So to stop the sunlight overheating our spacecraft we need to reflect it away uh, which is why MLI tends to look shiny. At RAL Space we tend to work on scientific satellites so the issue is if it gets too hot or too cold uh, the readings that the instruments give could be wrong or the instruments might just stop working. In a worst case scenario if your satellite gets too hot uh, the fuel inside can basically make it explode, which is obviously a bad thing. So I've got some aluminium foil here, which is just normal kitchen foil. Uh, we don't use exactly aluminium foil to make MLI, uh, but we do use aluminium coated plastic. Uh, the reason for this is if you've ever used aluminium foil, you know it's quite easy to rip, but it should be about as shiny. So the outer layer of MLI reflects about 85% of sunlight. Um, which means that 15% is still absorbed. Uh, for some parts of the spacecraft that aren't so sensitive, this is good enough, and then we call it SLI, which means single layer insulation. But generally, uh, that's too much energy, too much heat, so your spacecraft will still get too hot. So what we do is we get another layer. And we put that behind the first layer. So 15% of the energy is coming to the second layer, and that reflects away 85% of the 15%. And we basically build up these layers until we're really minimizing the amount of energy coming through to the spacecraft. Uh, typically, we use between 10 and 20 layers. Unfortunately, if these layers touch each other, then they all become the same temperature through conduction. So what we need to do is separate them out. And we use uh, a netting. This is some netting I've got from a packet of oranges, uh, which is remarkably similar actually to the, the stuff we tend to use. But we use netting between the layers. And this prevents the layers from touching. So if we put netting between these layers, So the foil layers can't touch, and essentially that stops all heat transfer through to your spacecraft. So I thought it'd be interesting, while I'm stuck at home, I've got no idea if this would work, but if I make some MLI and wrap an ice cube in it, and I'll stick it either in the sun, if it's sunny, or under a light, and we'll see if that melts quicker or slower than an ice cube which has no MLI around it. I hope it works. Okay, so I've got three ice cubes here. This one is just a normal ice cube. You can see it's already started to melt. This one is wrapped in one layer of aluminium foil to simulate our SLI. And this one is wrapped in four alternating layers of aluminium foil and orange netting to simulate our MLI. And I've turned on this lamp here, which is shining quite brightly on the ice cubes. 
So I'll set the timer for about five minutes and then we'll come back and see which one's melted the most. So it's been five minutes and we can see that this ice cube, which has not got any kind of insulation on, is quite small, mostly melted. If we unwrap this one. Okay, so it looks a little bit bigger, not massively. It's worth noting that these ice cubes were all the same size at the start. And if we unwrap the one in MLI, a little bit like opening a Christmas present. Hmm. Okay, even bigger than the other two. Fantastic, so it did work. The good news is the experiment worked, so that's definitely something you can try yourself at home if you've got some netting and some aluminium foil lying around. But otherwise, I hope that um, this video has been informative and you've learned something about spacecraft engineering.